friends. I am so happy that you have joined me today. I can't wait to dig into a Bible story with you and give you some ideas for games and activities and um, ways you can think about this Bible story more with your families and your households. So these are going to relate to the videos and the radio broadcast that we hear on maybe Sundays. Um, and so uh, this past Sunday, we heard from Bishop Bill Tesh. He was our special guest preacher. And the bishop is the pastor who is in charge of all the churches and all the pastors in our area, a special area that we call the Northwest Minnesota Synod. We're going to read our story today from the Growing in God's Love Story Bible. So um, some of you have this at home and some of you don't. Uh, I'll put the picture up on the screen and you can just use your ears to listen. Thomas wants to see. Have you ever wondered if something you were told is true? Asking questions helps you find answers. Asking questions about Jesus and Bible stories helps you be a better follower of Jesus. Listen in our story for Thomas's question. On the same day that the women found the empty tomb, Jesus surprised the disciples. They, except for Thomas, were in a room with the door locked. They were afraid that the people who had killed Jesus would look for them. Suddenly, Jesus was in the room with them, but no one had unlocked the door. Peace be with you, said Jesus. Before he left, he showed them the scars on his hands and in his side. The disciples were joyful and happy. When Thomas came back, they all talked at once. Jesus is back. We've seen him up close. But Thomas wasn't so sure they were telling the truth. I'm not sure that I believe what you say. I'll believe you when I see Jesus in person myself. I want to see him with my own eyes. Eight days later, the disciples were gathered together in the same room. This time, Thomas was there too. Suddenly, Jesus was in the room, even though the door was locked. Jesus blessed them, saying, Peace be with you. Jesus said to Thomas, Put your hands on my hands. See the marks where the soldiers hurt me? Here I am, scars and all. Believe that I am alive. Amazed, Thomas touched Jesus' scars. He said, My Lord Jesus, it is you. Thomas, Jesus said, Do you believe it is me because you can see me? Blessed are people who don't see me and still believe that I love them. After that day, Jesus did many wonderful things. He showed everyone God's love for the world. Some people wrote down what they remembered about Jesus and his stories. Because they did, we can learn more about Jesus, even though we can't see him. What a cool story. So I have some questions for you. What do you say when you're amazed? Do you shout or sing or pray? What do you do? If you could see Jesus like Thomas did, what would you ask Jesus? What questions do you have for Jesus? That's pretty cool. And what are some other things you wonder about? Make a list. Then ask the people you love to help you find the answers. Now, grown-ups, I know this can be scary, um, but I'm here to help too. So don't be afraid to reach out uh, if you need some help answering questions. Okay, so here's an idea. I have two ideas for you today. First, I bet you have a toilet paper roll at home or maybe um, a, a paper towel roll or something like that, okay? Or maybe even you have just a toy that looks kind of like this, see? And you can, you can see through it. You can see my eye. Yeah. Okay, so there's this cool trick you can do. So you put one hand up, you put the paper towel tube next to it, you keep both eyes open, and you put the tube up to one eye, 
and all of a sudden it looks like you have a hole in your own hand that you can see through. Wild. Okay, that's activity one. That's pretty cool. And it takes a little bit of practice as you just saw. So don't get frustrated. The second activity is you can play I Spy. Have you ever played I Spy? We like that game a lot. So you can say, I spy with my little eye something we see at church. Maybe you have a cross in your house, or maybe you borrowed one of the books from church, the hymnals, or maybe there's something else um, that you spy with your little eye. And you, then you give clues. I spy with my little eye something red. Maybe you borrowed one of those books and so it's from church and it's red. And then the rest of your family guesses. Is it your shirt? Is it the cross on the wall? Is it whatever it is? And try to think of things that make you think of Jesus, right? So I spy with my little eye a heart. That'd be pretty cool. That makes me think of Jesus. Or I spy with my little eye something brown. Maybe you have a brown cross. Or maybe I spy with my little eye something green and the green grass reminds you of Jesus and new life. Whatever it is, uh, play with your family a couple times and see how creative you can get at the things that you can spy with your little eye. I will see you again next week for another mini crosswalk and I hope you have a great week. Thanks for joining me, friends. Bye-bye.